Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to the, the Capstan website. Um, I'm still currently logged in, so I'm then going to use the, the Quick Links tab up at the top here and choose System Configurators. And that will take us to the page with the, the IPEX 50 and the, the 20 configurator. Um, we are working on configurators for the, the larger systems, um, but as you can imagine, they, they get vastly more complicated um, as you, you build up um, a, a more complicated system. Okay, so to download, it's a simple one-click process, really. Um, click it, agree to the, the document license, which basically says prices may have changed um, and that, that we're not necessarily bound by quotes um, generated from the program. Um, but it will use the, the latest released um, price list as well. Okay, so I've chosen to, to download that. and I'm going to open it with a, a zip program, um, and that's going to download fairly speedily from our, our site here. Um, I wasn't going to demonstrate how to download and, and unzip the, uh, the program, um, and I won't mention names, but, but somebody in our office struggled with that step, um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you all the way through here. Okay, so really simple, you've, you've got the setup file and use that zip file, um, a fa fairly common process, and everybody will have a, uh, have a program that can do that. So I'm going to put that on my desktop, and then it's going to show me the files here, so if we have a quick look at, at config. Um, the next step is to double click the, the only file with a, an icon and it's set up um, that you need to, uh, to run there. Okay. Um, the next step is, is a simple OK. And then you click on the button on the, the left here just to, uh, to install it. Updates the system and says it's been completed successfully. So that's, that's the program installed. It will have put that program in your start menu. So if we go down to the start menu here and all programs, uh, this is Vista, so XP is, is slightly different, but the same, uh, same principle. And then we look at MFIM50 config. Okay, I'll minimize uh, the other bits to make that slightly clearer. Okay, so this is the, uh, the welcome screen of the configurator. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is configure it as a user. So I'm going to enter my, my name as a consultant and I'm going to enter the capstan name. Okay. Uh, you've also got terms and conditions um, which is effectively the same license you agreed to to download it. Um, and you've also got an about and instructions option under help. About will tell you the, the pricing version um, that this is running off of. So this one uh, is actually February um, and the, the IPEX prices haven't, uh, haven't changed since then. Um, and you've also got instructions. So there's a full instruction list here um, should you forget um, or, or don't know how to do something. But it is it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, to start, click Start. And then you can choose a, a bundle or a, a manual system build. Now the bundles will use the, the IPEX 50 bundles that are available um, as our launch offer. Um, and the manual systems will, will build an IPEX from the ground up. So I'm going to do the, uh, the manual system. Um, and I've, I've just been asked if the configurator will auto patch to keep the prices up to date. Um, it doesn't auto patch itself, but what we do do is release a, a new pricing file. So you don't need to completely reinstall the program. You can just overwrite one of the files, um, and, and we will send out a, uh, an, an e-cast to all of those that, that want that um, when, uh, when one becomes available. Okay, so step one is um, choosing the, the base call server. You've got the, the IPEX MFIM50A, the analog system. We've also got the ISDN system, and also the ISDN system with the, the extra ISDN2 channels licensed. Um, so I'm going to choose a, an analog system. So what you do is you, you grab the picture and drag it up to the clipboard, and that will populate your system build information and take you on to the, the next step. 
um, and it gives you all the information about what you've configured and what you have available. And then to add modules, it's a, a simple drag and drop. So I'm going to add some, uh, some ISDN circuits on there. And that's updated that. And I'm going to add on the, the multimedia conferencing. And I'm going to add on an SLT module as well. And that then populates all of the, the information here. And we, we choose next to move on to, to what sort of phones you'd like on the system. Um, it tells you how many extensions you have available. So this is in real time looking at the port usage from the first tab. So you, you can't over um, capacity a system like this, um, but what you can do is, is build a system to your customer's exact requirements. Again, it's exactly the same principle, but this time you can, can choose numbers. So I'm going to go for 10 of the executive phones, and I'm going to go for 5 of the 4-button phones. And I'm going to have a DSS console, and I'm going to have a Fontage Lux. I'm going to have a couple of those. Okay, so this is in real time building the uh, building system. I'm going to choose next, and we've, it tells you how many phones you've got. So you can then choose to how you want to power those phones, and it explains all of this in the, the top option here. So 15 phones, so I'm going to go for two PoE switches. And I've got three modules in my system, so I'm going to have one rack mount kit, and I'm going to have two bookend kits. Okay, so this tells me I've now got enough power and enough uh, brackets for, for these modules. <coughs> Excuse me there. Okay. Um, the final stage is, is whether you want any CTI on the system. Um, you can add the, the easy attendant, the Oak or the, the Sidetrack CTI. Um, and you can also fill in some more information about deliveries, um, addresses for instance. So if I put some, uh, some information in here, if I just pop that information in there, and I'm going to have that on a, uh, a next day before 10.30. I can also click review, which will tell me um, exactly what modules I've, I've got configured in the whole system. And to remove an item, you can simply grab that and drag it to the, to the trash can. I'm going to click uh, finish here. Um, and what finish will do is close down the application and generate the PO with all of the details that you've put in there. So it's put all of the, the modules, all of the phones and, and power options, quantities and total RRP and trade pricing. And it's also put in the delivery address and the, uh, and the, the time to deliver it. So it's generated you a full order from only knowing the customer's requirements. There's, there's nothing hugely technical in there. Um, all you really need to know is, is what the IPEX is from a, a system point of view. And then you can really build your system to the customer's requirements. And using the no price version, you could even use this with the customer um, to explain what phones are available and what, uh, and what gateways are, are an option there as well. Connecting life's experiences.